Hi there, it's Five Minute Friday and Nettie's in the kitchen. And I'm not here to do a lot of serious work because you know what? I got to thinking that today, of all days, it's time to kind of pull in together and do some things that are a little traditional. And so you know what Fred and I want to do? He's going to knock off work a little early and so is Nettie. And we're going to hunker down and watch a movie. We've been watching lots of news about the coronavirus. And so we're going to do some things that's a little traditional and just pop a little popcorn and have a little hot cocoa. So join me as we talk about this a little bit. Before we get started, we've got to wash our hands. We've been telling our kids to do that. So here we are. Nice hot water. And I've got right here, I have a hand soap and dish soap. But 20 seconds, it's my sunshine away. Oh. You need two towels if there's two people. One towel for every person, and you wash it every day. Any towel or washcloth or anything around your sink, like my little rag, then we, we wash that every day. Paper towels, we're using paper towels, but since it's just the two of us, we just wash every single day. We can do that. So right here, I'm gonna turn up my little kettle here and get the, get the water boiling. And I know I'm gonna show you something right here. This is my popcorn popper. <laughs> I love it. You know, it's pretty fun. Um, but in my, my household, my mama used to have an old pressure cooker. Daddy bought her a new one. And so she took this old one and turned it into a popcorn popper. It was heavy, but we put that lid on and the steam could escape out of that little thing so that popcorn was nice and crispy. And I used to have that until a few years ago and I let it go. Sometimes I wish I hadn't, but you know, it's really time for us to pull in and do things a little easier. So watch what I'm doing. This is pretty cool. So I'll get my popcorn down. And it's about a third of a cup, but I'll show you the other trick. There's a little line in here, right here. You just fill it up to that line. <laughs> They're so smart. And then you pour it in. Now, if you're being really good about what you're eating, you can just go ahead and pop it that way in the microwave. It's really good for you. But another tradition we have is don't do everything that's so good for you that you forget to have a little fun. So since today is like feel better day, we're gonna use a little bit of this little popping oil. Just enough, just enough to cover the bottom, just a little bit. About a tablespoon, that's not too much. A tablespoon's only, oh, who cares? So then, another little trick, put things away as you go. That's what mom always said. So the next thing you do, so if you really want to take care of yourself today, is you put a little butter in here. Right here. Here we go. But Nettie is going to use this. It's yogurt butter. And a half a tablespoon is only 45 calories, where, you know, real butter, it's like 100. Put it in. Put it in the microwave. Put the time to your individual microwave, because you never know. Okay. So now because I am the best Nana ever, Nana Nettie. I'm Nana Nettie. We're gonna make a little hot cocoa. I've got my water on. It's whistling. Okay. So I always put my water in first. A little bit of cocoa never hurt anybody. This is a candy cane cocoa. So you know I'm gonna be taken back to Christmas time in the cold and sitting around with my kids and having candy cane cocoa together. That makes me feel so good and it's comforting. You put in as much as it tells you to. And stir that baby. And you know what Nana does too. I mean, Nana Nettie knows how to spoil grandkids. Tonight I'm gonna to spoil Fred. So I'm gonna give Fred just a two tablespoons of half and half. One, two, ah! okay. Oops, I spilled. That's okay. So the popcorn is popping. 
while it's popping, let me tell you. We don't really want to use food to make ourselves feel better all the time. That's not really very healthy for us. But candy cane cocoa when you need to be able to sit down and think about life and what's really important. For Fred and I right now, a bowl of popcorn with a little butter, the peppermint cocoa, and nuzzling together in our recliner six feet apart. <laughs> Some things aren't different. <laughs> anyway, can you think of a tradition that maybe was really special to you? You know, either something you've been doing as a mama or daddy now, or something your mama or your grandma did. Bring it back. Now do little things around the house and games and card games and charades. Oh, Fred's not so good at that, but you know, it makes it so I win every time. Let's check that popcorn. Oh, it's done. <laughs> Smell the aroma. Oh, I steamed up my glasses. Look at that. You know, put on something like comfortable, like Nettie's caftan is pretty comfortable. Put on a little popcorn and some cocoa and sit down with your loved one and appreciate them. Cause actually you're gonna be together for quite a long time. <laughs> oh, isolate and integrate and socialize the best way you can. Popcorn and cocoa. Nettie loves you. Don't be crappy. Be happy. Be creative. Be the light. Be the first responder in love. Bye-bye.